Fuck. Oh, yeah. All right, let's look at this one okay. here. <laughs> All right. So, minutes. I'm gonna give you a minute to do it. See, if you were in my office, I could see what you were writing down. Yeah. It's okay. <laughs> no biggie. The mere fact that you're tutoring is a start in the right direction. Hopefully, it'll be something you do more frequently. Yeah, I signed up for more tutoring times. Six twenty-three. Two minutes. Okay. Well, actually, it just turned twenty-two, so I'll give you to. Mm. Uh, when when the limit equals zero, mm -hmm. it, it's uh so it's it, this one's converging everywhere, right? That's zero. Yeah. That's negative a zero. Infinity. Okay, I'm sorry. Negative infinity to infinity. Yes. Is that what you got? Yes. Okay, let's see. Uh, let's run through it. So, limit. Now what do I do? You can cancel out one of the x plus 1 to the n. And uh, the 1 over 2n plus 3 times 2n plus 2 can go on the outside. Good. And uh, x plus 1 has to send an absolute value. Because you know if it's uh, all positive. Now what? Uh, now you can find uh, the limit of that is just 1 over infinity, and that's 0. So it's converging for all x's, yeah, negative infinity to positive infinity. What's the radius? Uh, the radius? Mm -hmm. The radius is negative one. Mm -hmm. If we're going from negative infinity to infinity, how much are we going out in each direction? I said the radius, not the center. Did you say think I said the center? The center is negative one. Oh. What's the radius? Hmm. Wouldn't it just be infinite? Well, you can, uh, infinite? Mm hmm Right? Because huh. how else would I get to infinity? What do I need to add to negative 1 to get to infinity? Infinity. Infinity. Right? What do I need to subtract from negative 1? Negative infinity. Okay. Do you understand? So, yes. it's going to be infinite radius. Center is always the opposite of this. 